Okay guys, so I finally decided and bought a new camera for our channel. As you can see, this is our new camera. So previously, I used to shoot my videos on our YouTube channel using a Sony A6500. But it was really high time that I upgraded and moved on from that. I've been using it for like uh, one and a half or two years, I guess. But since we've reached such a big milestone, 500K is not small. So I decided that we need to take it a level up, you know, take it to the next level. And that's why I switched from APS-C size to full frame camera. And well, here it is, my first full frame camera from Sony, the Sony A7 III. Well, this thing is a monster, guys, and it's an amazing camera. It's a full frame mirrorless camera from Sony, the Alpha 7 III, and I was really excited to get this camera. So this camera comes only with the body or with a kit lens also, but I, I prefer to choose the body itself because I had some other lenses in my mind. So yeah, here is the Sony, a, Sony A7 III's camera body, and it costed me around like one point uh, three four lakhs the body only and along with that I've got some amazing lenses also full frame lenses all from Sony uh, one is a 50 mm lens f 1.8 aperture one uh, that costed around like 19,500 and this one is the other lens I, I bought this is a 90 mm f 2.8 lens G lens from Sony and this one costed around like 58,000 rupees so yeah I've invested a lot in this you know whole new camera setup and I'm hoping that this will give some next level quality on our channel. So in this video we'll be checking out our new camera, we'll be unboxing it and I'll give my complete overview on the setup. So let's get started. So here is my brand new Sony A7 III full frame camera and along with that as you can see I've got a lot of stuff on my desk including a new lens and also some accessories. I had to buy the lens separately but all these other accessories I got free with the camera. Now let me show you the camera. So the Alpha 7 III from Sony comes in this sort of box packing and this is the body only you don't get a lens free in the box you have to buy that separately. Let me give you an overview on the box packaging. We've got the Sony branding everywhere and says that this camera has won a lot of awards which include best camera of the year and a lot more. My camera bundle came with a free 64GB memory card, 3 years of warranty, a free camera bag as well as a fast charger. You can see all those accessories right over here on my desk. Talking about the features and the highlights, it's got a 35mm full frame XMOR R CMOS sensor, Bion's X image processing engine, can shoot videos in 4K HDR, has Dolby audio support, it's got Wi-Fi, NFC, Bluetooth and Sony play memories as well. Coming to the specs of the camera, the Alpha 7 III has a 24.2 megapixel sensor with the ISO range from 100 to 51200, supports 10 frames per second continuous shooting, has 693 phase detection autofocus points which is absolutely nuts, has eye focus, silent shooting, in-body 5-axis image stabilization, dual SD card slots, touch focus, log format shooting and comes with a USB Type-C for super fast data transfer. Oh my god, this camera is jam-packed with features and that is why I purchased it. As I mentioned before, in this box you only have the camera body, you need to buy the lenses separately. So I purchased two lenses with the camera. This is a 50mm f1.8 lens and the other one is a 90mm f2.8 G lens. Full frame lenses are very expensive guys. Some of them can even go up to 10 to 15 lakh rupees. They can be crazy expensive. This 50mm 1.8 was the cheapest full frame Sony lens in the whole range and costed me around 19,500 rupees. And here are the other free stuff which I was talking about. A quick charger for my camera worth around 6000 rupees and a free Sony Alpha camera bag. It's a black and orange bag and looks pretty nice. We've got the Sony branding, has lots of pockets and sections and the quality looks decent. Now let's unbox the camera and check it out. Let me grab my knife and cut this seal. Oh guys look at this, here is our free 64GB super fast Sony memory card. On opening the box, we've got a lot of paperwork which includes a warranty card, user manual and a quick start guide. Keeping them aside, there's a camera strap over here with the Sony Alpha 7 branding, very good quality. And lastly, here is our much awaited camera, the Sony A7 III, comes packed like this in a cotton bag. But before I show that to you, let's see if we have anything else in the package. There's a regular charger, a main cord for the charger, a USB type B cable and Sony's Info Lithium Z series battery. You only get one battery with the camera. So that's it, these were all the stuff we got in the package. Now let me show you the camera. So finally after waiting this long, here is her brand new A7 III. 
This is a monster full-frame mirrorless camera from Sony. Oh my god, just look at this beast. We've got the Alpha 7.3 branding over here and this thing looks beautiful from our first look. Just look at it guys, this thing is built like a tank. Wow, it says 35mm full-frame CMOS image sensor on this beautiful metallic red ring and the entire body is made of magnesium alloy material. It's got tough build quality and is also weather sealed. Let's also unbox the lens and see how it looks like. So here is our brand new Sony 50mm f1.8 lens. I bought the 50mm prime lens because it's great for portrait photography and that f1.8 aperture produces beautiful and creamy bouquets in the pictures. With the lens you also get a lens hood in the box and fixes like this. Guys this 50mm from Sony is a great value for money. My friend already had this lens and after testing it from him in different scenarios I made my decision to buy this and the good thing about it is it was very affordable. We've got the Sony branding, says 50mm f1.8, has only one ring for manual focus and there's nothing else on it. Let me just remove the lens cap and show you how the lens looks like. Holy moly, now that's a beautiful looking lens. It's a 7 element lens with one aspherical element and has a 7 blade circular aperture to create those creamy background blurs. It's also quite lightweight at only around 186 grams and has a metal E mount for greater durability. So that was about the lens. Now let me show you the camera. The Sony a7 III is a premium full frame mirrorless camera that can shoot 4K HDR videos. We've got the Sony branding at the top, Alpha 73 logo and as I mentioned before the body is made of magnesium alloy material, feels top notch when you hold it and it's also both dust and moisture sealed. Talking about the comfort, coming from A6500, this thing definitely feels more comfortable to hold because of its larger grip and thick body and definitely has a nice feel to it. The overall layout looks pretty similar to the 6500 series just with some extra additions and improvements. There's a power on of slide switch, a shutter button at the center, custom buttons C1 and C2, a mode dial to select all the camera modes, this is the exposure dial, custom rear dial. All of these have geared type movements and you see this viewfinder, this is special. It's got a XGA OLED true finder for excellent visibility. And if you can observe one thing guys, there is no built in flash on this camera. That's because this is a professional grade high end camera and no one uses pop up style flashes with them. These two are the microphones for stereo recording, has a hot shoe mount at the top. And the best part is, the camera has 5 axis in body optical image stabilization. Awesome right? As usual it's got these holders on the sides to fix the strap and going to the back there's a lot going on here. This is a video record button, auto focus on, a lock, a cursor for navigation, function button, a 5-way control wheel, gallery delete function and lastly a menu and custom C3 button. And this is its big 3 inch LCD touchscreen. Now the screen doesn't support full touch controls, you can only do touch focus using it. And yes, just like the 6500, the screen on A7 III can also be tilted and adjusted to view it from different positions. But unfortunately, it still can't be flipped completely to help you while vlogging. Now let me show you all the available connectivity ports. We've got a lot of hidden flaps on the left and right sides, let's start from here. There's a 3.5mm port for external microphone, a micro HDMI port, and a headphone out for monitoring, a USB-C for charging and data transfer, a charging LED indicator and also a micro USB type B port. Going to the right side there's a NFC logo and a slide switch to open up this cover. It's got dual memory card slots so you can insert two memory cards at the same time for hassle free shooting. On the bottom side there's a quarter inch thread for mounting it on tripods or monopods and the battery compartment on the right. You just need to insert that info lithium Z battery that we got in the box. Wait a second, I haven't shown you what's on the front side right? There's a standard E-mount lens cap, a lens release button, a custom front wheel, a remote sensor below that and lastly an AF illuminator lamp. Well that's it, that was our complete overview on the camera body. Now let me fix my 50mm prime lens to the camera and show you how my setup looks like. So there you go, this is how our new camera looks like. Sony a7 III with a 50mm f1.8 prime lens. Wow, this thing looks awesome. I can't wait to see the results of this camera. 
So guys, that was my unboxing and first look at our brand new Sony A7 III full frame mirrorless camera. Wow, this thing is a beauty. It looks very good. I can't wait to put this to a test and see how this thing performs. So the thing is, I didn't show you 90mm because I was actually planning to do a dedicated video, you know, complete unboxing and review on this 90mm lens. That's why I didn't include that in this video. Don't worry, that will also be coming up soon. And yeah, from my first impressions, very satisfied with the camera. So I'll be using this camera for a few days. I'll be shooting all my upcoming videos using this camera only. I'll be collecting some samples, photo samples, 4K HDR video clips and all that so that I can finish my full review. But full review is definitely going to take some time, maybe one and a half or two weeks because I need to do all sorts of testings, right? And along with that, if you have any other questions also, do leave them in the comment section so I can include them in my full review video. Well, that's it. That's it for today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. So make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one.